Hi, this is Dr. Joni Liu, and I'm back with another Cosmic Tidbit, and we're talking about how does the collective ego control you? This is part three. Let's talk about boundaries. There are things that you like, and there are things that you don't like. When somebody is encroaching on your boundaries or, you know, you're observing someone else being encroached, you know it's about something that you don't want to happen. Okay, so that's the feeling that you have. Now, why are people encroaching on someone else's, including your, boundaries? It's because of one word. No. No is a complete sentence. The collective ego doesn't like the word no. It doesn't want you to say no. Now, it's kind of interesting because when we were kids, you may have observed that saying no is a bad thing, that you're a bad kid if you tell somebody no. That's a sign of disrespect. However, you have, well, what I can call it is a cosmic right to say no. Because if something is bad, you don't want it to happen, right? So you have to stand up for your boundaries. So the word no is extremely important. But if somebody is, you know, saying things that you don't like, or they're approaching you in a certain way that you don't like, that's when you say no. And it's a good idea to say an inner no to these people. So a silent no to yourself, to them, okay? Because if you say it out loud, you're going to raise up their ego. When you say an inner no to somebody, you're actually doing your true self good as well as for theirs. Now, this is a very, very short explanation. So if somebody's actually stepping on your toes, then definitely say no. If they're, you know, reaching out to you, you know, trying to grab you, yeah, definitely say no. Like I said, it's really a short introduction to this. So I'll be back with more Cosmic Tidbits. See you again soon. Bye.